A guilty verdict for a man accused of gunning down an honor roll student as he walked to school. Markel Ross died two years ago in the Capitol Heights neighborhood. And new at 11 tonight, Robert Lyle spoke with his mother. Robert, how is she handling the verdict? She is surprisingly upbeat, but imagine the unthinkable. You've lost your child to murder, but police have found the weapon. Sounds like a slam dunk conviction, right? Well, Elizabeth Ross, mother of Markel Ross, learned today murder trials can be quite complicated. Rejoice. Elizabeth Ross has waited nearly two years to say that word aloud. Why well, rejoice? Because uh, we was at a point, I didn't know whether this boy was going to get off or not. Ross has spent a nerve-wracking week not only staring into the eyes of Trayvon Bennett, the 20-year-old on trial for her son Markel's murder, but trying to stare into the hearts of jurors. I prayed, I asked God to let the jury see as well as I see that he's guilty. But proving this case was daunting. We had no real leads. It was a robbery gone bad. Markel Ross apparently flinched as Trayvon Bennett held him up in September 2012. That one move by the Central High School honor student led to his death. For a month, no leads, no suspect, until police arrested Bennett on another robbery charge. They found the, the gun. But prosecutors needed witnesses to put Bennett behind the gun. The case went nowhere until an inmate agreed to wear a wire. I know I heard him say something about killing. Then prosecutors got Trayvon Bennett's own best friend to testify, saying... And when they got up that morning, said Trayvon said he going out to bust a move. A street reference to robbery. With that, jurors deliberated just two hours. They got it right. They got all the answers right. Guilty second degree murder is all Elizabeth Ross heard before dissolving into tears. She prayed for justice and says her angel answered. No, Markel is up in heaven with his wings. It's the dance because he used to love to dance. So I said, I know he got them wings flapping all over the place. Now, Elizabeth Ross goes on to tell me that she forgives Trayvon Bennett. Prosecutors aren't so forgiving. Bennett will be sentenced October 10th. Prosecutors are seeking life without parole plus 25 years. Live in the newsroom, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Robert.